Hello and welcome to this week's video roundup. I'm Joe Marchant and I'm going to take you through our best videos from the past week. First off, some cool animal robots. Many robotics researchers get their inspiration from nature by looking at how brains and bodies interact and how animals deal with a changing environment. Technology editor Will Knight shows us some recent creations. Swiss researchers developed a model of a salamander's spinal cord and created a similar system to control the movement of their salamander robot. It receives electrical signals from a wireless laptop that can tell it to switch from swimming to walking to change speed or direction. Nature helped these scientists, but it turns out that their robot also helped neurobiologists understand four-legged locomotion. Here's a video showing robots and cockroaches interacting. Belgian researchers found that robots that smelled like cockroaches were able to control the mixed group's choice of shelter. Cockroaches select a hideout based on how dark it is and what their fellow cockroaches are choosing. The robots were programmed to prefer lighter hideouts and were able to sway the cockroaches in the group. Here's another group, but this one is made entirely out of robots. MTRAN is a robot made up of many modules that can move individually and communicate with each other to change shape. Its computer uses genetic algorithms to generate thousands of patterns of motion and choose the best one for its purpose. A more advanced version of the robot can detect obstacles on its own using a camera like an eye. Pretty amazing, and the robot still works if it loses a part of its body. Speaking of body parts, here is a peculiar looking head belonging to a dinosaur. Nigesaurus had over 500 teeth and a jaw that was over half a metre long. Researchers have just done CT scans of its skull and found that behind each tooth, up to nine replacement teeth were waiting to slide into place as a tooth wore out. Apparently Nigesaurus had a mouth like a lawnmower, but now we have some fish that use their mouths in a rather sexual way. Sandrine Kerstermont picks up the story. These cichlid fish have a very peculiar mating ritual. In this video, you can see how it all starts. A female will lay her eggs and then pick them up in her mouth. Afterwards, she will approach a male. The male fish turns his back on the female so that she can take a closer look at his anal fins. On the fins, there are markings that look very much like her eggs. The curious female approaches the egg dummies when suddenly the male will discharge his sperm right into her mouth to fertilize the eggs. Now German researchers have identified the gene that is responsible for producing the deceptive markings on male cichlids. This trait is found in the majority of the 1,800 species of cichlid fish found in East Africa. The researchers are now planning to investigate if it has contributed to their evolutionary success. No pickup lines necessary for those fish. And that's all for now, but for plenty more science videos and stories, you can check out our website or buy the magazine. See you next week.